tonight. It's a shorthanded receiving core. And in front of an reshuffled offensive line, they flip it to the big guy, Corey Robinson, far side. And the six book, Kelly, they have a lot of respect for Syracuse's third down blitz package. I want to avoid those third downs if they can. Hughes show pressure up the middle. It's Folston running left and Torian Folston hauled down right. Pretty in communication between the big guys up front. You fake it to Folston, flip it far side. Robinson again gets a couple of blocks, cuts it up across the 40 yard line. Another first. The first play, well, you can't quite see the receiver, but the receiver is uncovered. You can see the blitz comes from the outside from Darius Kelly. Very, very nice job of Everett Golson recognizing that. There it is, uncovered, and he's able to get out there and pick up big yards, and it picks up a... The suspended players expected to be their top returning receiver, so everybody having a chip in here. Golson flips it to McDaniel in the flat right at the line. That ...aggressive that this offense has been called in years, at least since he's been at Notre Dame. In the second... ...ten, Golson with the keeper. Steps outside now, cuts back in. He's not sure. Handoff in motion, coming to Folston, cuts it back. Has a first down across the 25, out near the 30. Interesting call here on third down, and a couple of great blocks by his tight end. Sequoia getting downfield, picks up a nice block. And I'll tell you, these receivers, they to see what kind of team Notre Dame is because who they play. Folston, line time. Looking, but has nobody open and has to just throw it away on the near sideline. The receivers are way down. But Will Fuller here on the outside, when these guys get downfield, I want, I want you to watch to see if they recognize their quarterbacks in trouble and if they decide to work back. Right now, quarterbacks getting outside, you've got to work back. You've got to try to find a way to help your quarterback out instead of just staying downfield. He has no one to throw. Time. Play clock at two and they get it away. A throw near side caught by Fuller in traffic, fighting but doesn't get first down yardage. Ball comes out. Right now, a little bit uncharacteristic, making some mistakes, whether it's pass protection or the ball being loose. I thought he looked like he was down. Is he fighting to stay alive there? Rear end hits. It sure is close. That roll. And his year away, he came back bigger, stronger, more mature. Or polished, but a tough start tonight. Golson fires down the middle, incomplete. A diving interception. He's got two receivers working to the middle of this defense. Watch the read here and watch the mistake by the quarterback. As he drops back, he's looking at this safety, and the safety moves towards his receiver. The tight end is open over the middle, and I don't know if his eyes led the safety over that way. Or if he just misread that, but a heck of an interception by the corner brand. Try to create some momentum for their offense. Another first down throw. This is Robinson. Again, gets a couple blocks on the edge. And the range he got. It's a run pass option. The blitz. And now you have an open receiver. And it takes recognition from the quarterback to be able to see that. Box versus the numbers covering the pass. Golson. Took a look quickly, now takes off. Gets a block on the edge and hammered it. Kroom knocked that ball loose. On second and nine, throw far side. Catch made, Robinson. They find something that works and Kelly just... Back at Notre Dame, would have never known that. And second down, after the timeout, they flip it far side. Chris Brown, short gain, it'll set up third. And second and 11. Syracuse brings pressure again. Golson gets it away far side. It's Robinson with yet saying, and they're leaving their corners one on one. Golson fires near side. Long throw for makes the catch drop inbound. Syracuse shows pressure, then backs off. Here's a completion of Fuller. Trying to fight free across midfield, first down. Sophomore, and with Daniels not playing, he has stepped up to be the go-to guy. That's great awareness. Back and got the ball out in a hurry. Another first down throw, another the catch. Folston breaking free. Torian Folston inside the 10. Box and wait for it to open up. Christian Lombard getting downfield. He's kind of just waiting for him to pancake that poor. Bryant again gets a nice block on the edge. 
But not much running room. Drop for a loss. I like the reps he gets, the more dangerous he becomes, and just continuing to compliment both McDaniel and, and Folston. He's got it away. Loses the ball. Ball comes out, and Syracuse has it. So just when you praise Greg Braun on the back, and next thing you know, that ball's loose even before he fumbled. That is not how they coach it, is it? No, no. That, that ball was very, very loose, and Desir that time knocked it loose. And Eskridge recovered it. To the drawing board again this week, getting ready for Stanford. Bolson flips it short. Catch made. McDaniel jumps over a tackle, is knocked down at the. You know, that's one thing about McDaniel. This is a rare look with two backs in that backfield is he has very soft hands and he knows what to do with the football out out there in space. I, you know, he said Chris he goes up and over some some uh, quick feet there get some feet his feet back down and scrimmage committing down into the box and he gets just fires the ball back out again. Flips it short McDaniel makes it 24 completions in a row. Very short game. Handoff coming in motion here as Tory Hunter is finally healthy, hasn't played yet this year. Third name Fighting Irish. Got six yards and second and four. Throw near the end zone, caught for a touchdown by Hunter. Completions. Oh, it's the tight end, Ben Koyak, floods the zone, goes downfield. Dominique Davis of East Carolina three years ago. But it's a first down handoff to Bryant. Stutter steps earlier runs to his left. There it is. They're going to throw it far side, and there goes the incompletion. The first Bolson fires far side, picked off. Darrell Eskridge will walk to the end zone. So Syracuse trying to make a late push, and yet un unusual strange night and we'll look at this again and we'll show you what happened they fooled him. they completely fooled him with a last second blitz and the safety dropped right into that curl zone and he didn't see him I don't think he ever saw him he threw the ball thought he had his man Chris Brown open and Eskridge who as at the snap of the football inch at the last second and whatever Golson doesn't see is the safety that ends up intercepting it Darrell Eskridge Watch it, this. Eskridge actually is reading this tight end who doesn't go out for a route, immediately flies out here, and that's why he's able to get out there as quick as he did. See how fast he's running out there? Completely surprised Ever Golson. He was focused on reading the corner and the route from, from Chris Brown. He, see, he thought he had it. He's simply looking out there, never saw it, and it's just a great call. You got